Okay, welcome to my shack. It's HRD running, HRD logging over there. There's the TS480 SAT, 2 and 70, the tunable DSP for the HF radio. Oh, turn this on. Rotator. Motorola there and you know a few bits and pieces. Oh look at this. 2006 Hyperscan. I bought that brand new when it came out from Dick Smith. But there you go. It's not what I'm here for. Alright. Had a problem when I was transmitting on HF, mainly on 40 meters um, and 80 and even 10 meters. Um, my internet, which you can see the little icon down, it's a little icon down there, would say your internet's gone, dropped out. So stuffing around for ages, I I I made oh, here you go, I made a um, ugly ballon, one to one ballon, ugly, get it? I made a um, one to one ballon, RF choke, and put that on the beam. Seemed to work. Had the long wire up with an, with an RF choke on it, and it still killed the internet. Um, it was actually even setting the house alarm off. So, very interesting. Um, I was getting rather frustrated. So, I had a thought the other night. I thought it might be in the shack that I was getting the problems. So, I had a look at what was going on here. Now, I've got a telephone up there. Okay. My router is over there, and I've got, um, excluding the DVR, I've got uh, 224 port patch panels there for, to go around the house with a, a, a router and all that sort of stuff. Let's turn that radio down. So, now, I'll give you a hint. These cables, the flat four four core cables can't really get a shot of that can we let's see everyone's going to get seasick here let's see where we can get a shot of this uh, not really anyway that's an RJ12 okay it's got four cables in there that one's actually got two okay that one's an RJ11 with two cables inside it and they're not twisted pair they just go straight next to each other like a parallel line get it parallel line that's a freaking antenna piss that off and look at this this one ran from one of the patch panel ports uh, to that telephone up there same thing but that's four core or still running parallel with each other it's a big freaking antenna Fuck it off. Over. So, what do we do? Twisted pair. Cat 5E. Whatever you can find, actually. Just Cat 5. All I've done is used four pair. Actually, no, I've used two pairs. Out of that, made two leads up. One goes straight into the back of the... Telephone there, and one goes, the other end of that goes into one of the patch panels, and then the other one that I made up goes from the DSL splitter, filter, whatever you want to call it, into the DSL modem router, or modem. So, I tested it, and guess what? It freaking works! It doesn't drop me internet. I'm just the only thing I'm spewing on. I didn't think of that earlier. Freaking had two antennas in the shack, which aren't really meant to be antennas, acting as antennas, destroying, killing my internet when I'm trying to log and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, got got these as well. Where are we? Let's see if we can see this headset. Right. Off an amateur on the interwebs, great device, 
Now, you, you, what you do, oh, I dropped it on the floor, I couldn't be bothered. What you do, you tell him that you want the headset. I've also got a foot switch down there, which came with it. And it came with this, let's see, don't worry about the blue tape because I, I cut it open. Came with this uh, adapter, which has got an RJ on the end to plug into the radio, which plugs in up there. And it's got two 3.5 mil plugs on the other end. One is Mike. One is Mike and one is Dave. No, no, sorry. One's Mike and one's PTT. So obviously the mic plugs into one and the foot switch down there plugs into the other. And it was getting a bit messy with cables everywhere. So I made a breakout box. So I've got a Jiffy box here. I put RJ45 face plate, architrave plate, whatever you want to call it, on one side. And two, ooh, that's dark as a dark thing, isn't it? <laughs> two RJ45, sorry, two 3.5 mil plugs on the other side. So now, the only thing is, because I'm plugging into the MFJ DSP filter, I've got to have that box there. I can make a le longer lead, but it's all good. So, now I can sit here with my headset on, when it's not on the floor, and uh, use my foot to hit that switch down there, transmit on the radio, log up there, because these two screens are connected to the same PC, so I don't know if you can see it. There's the moose, and then, where's the moose up there? There it is. Look, moose. So I can log up there, and I can also open QRZ on this screen here, and log there as well. So, there you go. There's a little uh, tour of the man cave. And, um, here you go, here's my working, my uh, electronics bench. Just a little bit of uh, electronics going on here. You know, a bit of wiring. It's all good. There you go. Alright, seven and a half minutes, this is going to take freaking ages to upload. Bloody uploading in Australia, shit. Alright, take it easy. See me.